Hello everyone, this is Jig, and I'm here to talk about All The Wool, which is an add-on you can get on the Marketplace. Let me just walk out this wool -a door. First we're going to craft a vehicle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I will make all of those jokes continuously. Uh, and drive over to our little uh, sheep pen that we've got over here. Um... I guess, like, I'll just show you how to craft a bunch of stuff. Um, the important thing to learn is all of the different inks and how they work. Um, so I'm going to show you here. First, you need a couple of flowers and some ink. So you can pick these out of the ground. You can get these from squid. So we're going to craft the die out of each of those. And you can see on the crafting table, uh, all of the things that we can craft. So we can already craft some base ink right there, which is good. So we'll get that. And we also need some black dye, specifically black dye. And with that, we can craft all of these different shades. Now these different shades make all of the different colors. So I'm gonna just switch this to nature. So it doesn't show all the rest of the stuff that we don't need. Um, so basically the number, so red one means the amount of red is strength one. So this one is way more red and that's why the strength is four. So let's make, I don't know, red three. And you can already see all of the different colors that we can make with red three. We don't have the rest of them, that's why they're red, but um, let's do a yellow four. And a blue, I don't know, two, doesn't really matter. <laughs> so with those three different colors, um, we can now make some of the ink. Now these are not base, and that means those are the final versions of that color. So let's make this uh, very cool green. I like that. Now I have my car, let's uh, make that, that color that looks nice and we can also craft other stuff so what do we need to craft all of those things for the chairs and couches sorry stool and swolfa i regret naming them these but the decision has been made and that is that uh obviously a couple of wool and some planks same with the stool. Oh, actually what I really need to show you is how to craft a wrench. This one is very important. Get some iron ingots. And we need to craft some nuggets. And then the wrench is this one right here. So two iron ingots, two nuggets makes a wrench. Now wrenches are very important for all of Jigabov Productions add-ons. And the reason is they do a few things. So normally it would take, you know, a couple of hits to hit, to kill a car or a stool or a um, couch. So it takes a while, it takes a while to break, not ideal, but it will break eventually. But if you have a wrench, you can break them instantly. This is particularly useful. The other thing that they do is they often do something uh, to that thing. So let's place our vehicle down. And if you use the wrench on them, then it modifies them. So this, uh, what was a couch is now more of a day bed. And this, which was a stool is now a chair. And this is what was a vehicle is now a con convertible. Yes, I am quite proud of um, that. <laughs> I have no regrets anymore. Uh, oh, and like you can dye them all that as well. Uh, note when you do break them, uh, they revert back to white. So you can just make them again. You can add glow to your car and stool and sulfur. Kind of makes them a bit brighter and also sparkles. How pretty. 
enough. So I already talked about the different strengths. So if you want to get a bunch of different strengths is your best bet to make a whole bunch of different colors. So we're going to get one of each red. I'm going to switch it to nature and let's do one yellow and you can see almost uh, immediately when we get one of each how the amount of colors that you can craft increases so right now we can already make all of these and every time we add an extra one of these colors it just means there's more and more combinations we can do um and it starts like there's there's a lot of colors uh for all of the wool um that we can make oh, i forgot to get um glow ink here we go so now I have some glow ink and that means we can also make all of these sparkly versions. Now if you don't want to just craft the ink and you want to craft directly onto the wool, you can do that as well. And so if you have wool in your inventory, you can see um, the blocks are not in nature because they are construction. There you go. Or you can have a look on the um, magnifying glass to see all of the different ones. Let's leave it on construction. Uh, actually, let's leave it on magnifying glass. <laughs> this is obviously very not scripted. Uh, oh yeah, sparkly, different colors. And the more um, dyes you make, the more base dyes, the more different variants you can make. And it starts to get excessive. <laughs> There's about 250 different um, shades. Basically any color you want. And that's how you use it. You can craft it directly into the ink and then put it on the wool or use it on the vehicles. Um, or you can craft it directly into the wool itself. Oh yeah, and you can make, you can make carpets as well. Um, let's grab a whole bunch of this one. And I think it's two. Yeah, so now we can make carpet. And it acts like normal carpet. And also the sparkly blocks um, light up too. So at night time, it will be bright. All right. The other thing you can do is when you have the white versions, you can craft them into rainbow ones using these base inks. And what that means is every time you place it, it is a new color. So we've got a blue. And now <laughs> it's a different shade of blue. There we go. A kind of a, a limey color. Purple. Red. Fancy. The other thing you can craft is bull, bull, I can't even say it. Balloons. Oh, I need the feathers. Uh, I mean, there's some in there, but I might as well show you me crafting them. So here's a balloon and let's make a random colored one. It's just the wool surrounding a feather. They can be play. Oh, actually I should check. Do I have a lead? Oh, perfect. They can be placed, they can be leaded or leashed, and you can attach them to stuff. The other thing, if you need glow ink, well, getting glow ink is not super easy, but luckily with this add-on, we've added a way to craft the ultimate glow ink factory. Uh, I've forgotten to get some... Oh no, mutton's right there. Oh, whew. good. Uh, one mutton, a bunch of glow ink results in a glow sheep. Now this is what happens when uh, a sheep and a glow squid somehow uh, get together and we have this glow sheep. It's, it's mouth is like a squid mouth. <laughs> They're really kind of creepy, to be honest. 
Um, where's my shears? Oh my gosh, there's so many in here. Uh, do I have enough mutton for another one? Oh yeah, cool. Let's do that. So I'm going to make another one because you only need enough to make two glow sheep eggs because once you place them, you can obviously shear them and get glow wool. Uh, you can use the glow ink to make them breed. And make a little baby glow sheep. Oh my god, you're so adorable and a little bit creepy. And with the glow wool, you can craft that into even more glow ink. So you'll never run out of glow ink. I think honestly the hardest thing we'll get is probably black dye because you need a lot of squid or wither roses or something like that. Um, that's all the wool. You can make the prettiest build ever or something that um, hurts your eyes with how colorful it is. And it's all free. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the wool. Let me know in the comments if you need any help or if I didn't cover anything or if you have any questions, etc., etc. I would love to hear about your experience with this add-on. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why I thought seeing the Seth Blink outro seemed appropriate. <laughs> All right, uh, end video.